today is all about tangos. Hi there! Welcome back to the Open Flamenco Project. I'm Maria Vega and I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you so much, first of all, for all your likes, comments, and for following this channel. I'm really grateful to you all. I'm so happy to have you here online and also in class in central London. The workshops have started and the next one will be tangos in October. So please head to the link underneath if you want to know more about my live classes in central London. I would be so glad if you want to join me. Today we are talking about tangos, tangos in flamenco. Please do not get mistaken with the tango Argentinian, it's a completely different thing. Tangos is one of the oldest rhythms in flamenco. As usual, there are several theories about how the tangos started but the most believed is that it did start in Cuba, in La Habana, and then it traveled throughout the sea to other countries, including Spain. Another popular theory is that the tangos started in Seville and Cali, and then traveled throughout South America, where they evolved to the Argentinian tango. The most popular type of tangos, they are the ones from Cadiz, from Triana in Seville, from Jerez, from Sacromonte in Granada, and from Malaga. And there's also tangos extremeños, which they are from Extremadura. From the same family of the tangos, they are the tientos and the tanguillos. The only difference is the speed being the tientos, the slowest, tangos kind of in the middle, and tanguillos, a much more uplifting rhythm. The tanguillos, they are very popular in Cali, especially. How is the tango's rhythm? The rhythm is a four by four. And the easiest way to learn it is just to count it one, two, three, four, but leaving the number one as a silence and giving a tiny bit of an accent in the number four. Okay, you wanna try? One, two, three, four. 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 In the easiest way to mark the silence is to do it with your foot so you don't get lost. You can listen to my foot. One, two, three, four. 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 But now, as usual, I'm gonna leave you with my friend Demi Garcia a great percussionist and drummer that is going to explain you a bit more about the tango's rhythm using the cajón. Tango's is a 4-4, four, four, okay, time signature. Basically, we have four beats on a, on a bar, and we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. The important thing on the tango's is like we play a syncopation, an offbeat, basically, on the two and and four. Basically you have one and two and three and four. 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 And the important one is the, the four. We don't play much the one as well. We're gonna play the, the one just here. And it goes one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four. I'm going to give you now 
know a few steps in the tango's rhythm that can be useful for you when you're doing a choreography in tangos. a bit more challenging. Slowly. Once again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you found something that could be useful for you. I would appreciate if you can give me a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my classes in central London or here in the Open Flamenco project. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.